We've taken a look at how to receive OSC messages into PD using Osculator and UDP Receive. Now we'll look at sending OSC messages out of PD. We're going to use an application on the iPhone called Touch OSC to receive and then send messages to the device. You can find more information on Touch OSC at hexler.net slash software slash touch OSC. It's a really great application and the newest version even allows you to create your own GUIs um, with their widgets. So the first thing we're going to do is set up a connection between our laptop and the iPhone. There are lots of different ways to do this. Essentially both devices need to be on the same network or they need to be accessible with none of the ports uh, blocked, at least the ports that we're going to be using. I find that the easiest way to get this going is to establish a direct connection between uh, the computer and the phone. To do this I'm going to, I'm going to use the airport um, utility. So I'll go to airport which is here in the top right corner you might find on your system it's not there you can access it through system preferences and then I'll choose create network now I'm prompted to create a computer to computer network you give it a name this name is what you're going to be looking for on the iPhone I'll call mine HDES laptop Once the network is created, you'll see this icon in the, in the top that looks like the airport icon with a computer superimposed on top of it. Now you've got to go to your phone and connect to this network. Go to System Preferences on your phone. Then go to Wi-Fi. And then look for the Wi-Fi to be sniffed out and you'll find the network here, HDES Laptop. Once it's connected, we can go to Touch OSC. And we'll need to set up um, the ports for Touch OSC and then get the IP for uh, the phone. So we'll, we'll tap uh, Network. And then the important information here is the outgoing port. That's the um, port that is connected to on the laptop. So we'll UDP receive to that port. And then the incoming port, and that's the port going into the phone, and we'll UDP send to that port. And probably the most important piece of information is the IP address. That's how we're going to target the phone. Okay, so now we've got this window open. Let's create a new a PD document and first thing we'll do is create a UDP receive we just need the port which is 8000 in this case unpack OSC okay if you don't use unpack OSC you'll get a bunch of numbers that are not human readable so you need to use that and we use a print object to take a look at the output. Okay, head over to the output window and let's press some buttons on Touch OSC. So as I move the fader on Touch OSC, I see that I receive the fader message of slash one slash fader one and then a value. So if I want to send a value from PD to make the fader move via software on the computer, I'll do the following. UDP send. We won't type the network address here. We'll put a toggle underneath it. This is a Boolean that will show us when we're connected and when we're not. So when it's connected, you'll see an X. When it's not, we won't see anything. We'll create a message, connect the IP address of the phone. So we'll go back to the preferences of Touch OSC. So we have 169.254.248.81 space and then the port 9700. Connect that to the inlet of UDP send. Create another message of disconnect. Okay, and then in between these, we'll create messages that start with send, space, 
and then the OSC message. So if we want to affect fader one on page one, it's slash one, slash fader one, space, and then the value. Let's say 0.2. Before we connect this to UDP send, we'll create pack OSC and connect the send message to pack OSC and then pack OSC to UDP send. Okay, first let's connect to UDP send. Head over to the phone. We'll put both faders at the bottom. Now I'll click the send um, message and let's see what happens. Now you've seen that the fader has moved up, so we're successfully sending out from PD to touch a OSC on the phone. So if we wanted to do something a little more dynamic and not hard code the value into the message, we just need to use a dollar sign, so dollar sign one. And we'll use our favorite of random devices, a random number generator hooked up to Metro. So Metro 250, create a toggle to turn the Metro on, hook the Metro into a random F because we need random numbers between zero and one that are floats. And then hook that into the inlet of send. And so what we're going to do is make the fader jump every quarter of a second. We'll turn it on. And now you see the fader jumping. So obviously you'd want to do something a little more meaningful with uh, the connection of touch OSC to your particular PD patch, but this will get you started in figuring out how you're going to send feedback from PD to touch OSC because the idea here would be to create some sort of not only input mechanism into PD uh, so that you can control a computer remotely, but also so that you can get feedback on various states of your application or your environment.